In today's video, I'm going to show you how to tame the Yai Ling, as well as explain what every single feather does, including the volatile, so stick to the end of the video to see that. But without further ado, let's get to it. To start with, you're going to need the Yai Ling Saddle, which is unlocked at level 50 and requires a smithy to be crafted. You're then going to need some plant species Z fruit, which can be found by the plant species Z plant. Now obviously you have to wait by it, and sooner or later it will pop out the seed. You'll then put the seed into a large crop plot, using your shovel to make the grow rate even quicker, and slowly wait as it starts to grow up into a full-on plant. Now once it is a full plant, you can then access your crop plot, and you'll see that your plant species Z fruit will be there waiting for you. You are now going to want to find some of these red mushrooms, these ones in particular being by the portal spawn point. Using a herbivore, you can easily collect some biotoxin from these, which is going to be needed to knock out the Yai Ling. Now you can see, I do actually get rid of a lot of these mushrooms, but only get a little bit of biotoxin. Now obviously, depending on the level, you're going to want quite a lot of it. Once you have found a Yai Ling, you're going to want to start building a bit of a trap. Not for it, but for you. So using a 2x2 two two with foundations, and then using the stone doorways to surround yourself, preferably too high. I would not try this one high or else you're most likely going to get untacked more than you wish. So quickly just build this up and you are now ready to attract your Yai Ling and start the taming process. Now that you've got your Yai Ling you're ready to begin the taming process. So make sure you have flak as well as a shield which is very helpful and you're going to want to basically let the Yai Ling hit you with its feather attack. As you see in the bottom right corner we have a feather meter which is slowly rising. You want this to get between 30 and 40 until you start to see the red trails as I did there and the Yiling will then dive bomb you. Now here my reactions were way too slow and I actually let it get away. So what you're going to do now is because you still have the feathers and the countdown timer you're going to basically let the Yiling attack you again. Obviously looking for those red trails it dives, throw the plant species and then feed it the biotoxin. Now I'm going to repeat this step until we have knocked the Yiling out. Now as you can see here the Yaling does actually hit me so I do lose my feather counter and have to restart it again. This will happen either when the feathers run out or if the Yaling does actually attack you when it dive bombs. So as you can see it's coming around again for its final attack, waiting for it to start dive bombing, throw the plant species Z and there we go it is now unconscious. To tame the Yaling you'll either use kibble or meat, in this case I use mutton and wait for it to tame out. Now equip the cell that you made earlier as I show you how to use the Yai Ling to its full abilities. Right, so quickly, a couple of things about the Yai Ling. One, it is breedable. Two, it is actually radiation resistant, so you can take it down into the radiation zone. Once you saddle the Yai Ling, you'll actually see that all the different controls are on the right hand side. Go over them quickly, you've got a melee. Next is press space to jump and then press space again to glide. While gliding and moving, press C to dash. If you look up, you can actually go up, making you glide a little longer. Now, your dash will regen, but you actually cannot use it again until you either latch onto a object, whether it's a wall, a tree, anything like that, as you can see I've done now, or if you use your rupture ability. Now, either while latched or while gliding, you can use your feathers. This is obviously one of the main attacks of the Yai Ling, and a very important one to know. So while we're gliding, if I go up and I let go of every other key and press C on its own, I can actually go into A mode and start firing feathers. Now as you can see on this carcanos, there is a bar that's starting to go up. Now this bar does not have to be full. However, the fuller it is, either the more damage the feather will do on the rupture attack, or the longer the debuff will remain, which I'll go over once I go over all the different feathers in just a moment. Starting back towards the carcanos and use the rupture attack, with the Razor one, it doesn't actually have a debuff, but it'll do a fair amount of damage. If the game would like to show me. There you go. So now I'm just going to go over each and every feather so you know what they all do. Starting with the Razor Feather again, as we get this spiner to about halfway full, we will then use the Rupture Attack and do a lot of damage. In this case, 2,000. Now moving on to the Sedate Feather. This is actually a narcotic feather which will induce torpor. This can be gained by feeding the Yai Ling Biotoxin. So as you can see, I've hit this bear a few times. I'm going to use the Rupture now. And we have inflicted roughly about 500 Torpor, which is pretty darn good. Now, you can actually knock out the creature entirely. So I'm going to quickly just 
latch onto this tree and then show you me knocking the bear out now there you go this can actually be a way to tame some creatures the next feather is the slime feather. This can be gained by feeding your Yai Ling Sap. Now, the slime feather will indeed slow the creature down. Now, the more you fill the bar, the longer the slime debuff will last. So, once I hit this Ravager, you'll see that its movement speed actually begins to slow down compared to the other Ravager, which is right next to it. Now, if I show you it from a different angle, you can see the Ravager slowly moving along as the slime begins to wear off. Now, once it has worn off in the second there, you can see that the Ravager is returned back to its normal movement speed. Another type of feather is the Poison Feather and can be gained by feeding your Yai Ling Nameless Venom. Now, this is actually one of the most powerful feathers in my personal opinion. And the more you fill up the bar, the longer the poison will last, which is actually a damage over time. So, as I hit this Parasaur with the Rupture Attack, you can now see it's taking 183 damage a second, which is absolutely insane. Right, so as there seems to be a bit of confusion around the whole volatile feather, I want to kind of show you how I got to my conclusion, just as a bit of proof to back my theory. Now here we can see I am actually in the dev kit. Yes, I downloaded the dev kit just to prove this. So here we have the Yai Ling character and the Yai Ling feathered. Now, I believe this is just the bar that you see when we start to build it up with the feather attacks. And if I open this, you can see it actually has all the different types of feathers minus the sedate one. I couldn't seem to find that. So here we have the regular feather, which is the razor in my opinion. Then we have armor reduction, which obviously I believe is volatile. I'll show you why in just a second. And then we also have the poison, which is obviously the poison feather. And then the slime for the slime feather. Now the reason I think this armor reduction is actually volatile is mainly because of the symbol here this is the icon that you'll actually get when you use the volatile feathers on a creature i'll show you a clip of that in just a second of that symbol to prove my point now obviously i could be wrong but this next clip of me testing out my theory kind of proves that i'm right so hopefully this is correct and i'm not giving you any misinformation so here i have a spino that i have saddled and then unclaimed so obviously this spino has now got armor here I have a Rock Drake, and here I have my Yai Ling. What I'm going to do quickly is pass make the Rock Drake go on passive for a second, and then start attacking the Spino with the Yai Ling's Volatile Feathers, which can be gained from feeding get congealed gas balls. About there should be fine. And now we're going to rupture it. It's been ruptured, so it's now got the Shredded Debuff. Now we're going to quickly hop off that, hop onto the Rock Drake. And we're going to see that we're doing 42 damage now. Okay. So in about 10 seconds, if this is armor reduction, we should be doing less than 42 damage. So 42. Just going to keep biting until it runs out. So the next attack now should be 33. So there we go. I believe that Volatile is in fact armor reduction. And that is the Yai Ling and all its different abilities. Now, if you're looking for any other guide videos on Ark, whether it's Aberration, a different map, or even a different survival game entirely, then check out the channel to see what I've got for you.